I just cut through my climbing line. All right, I'm headed out to work today. I just want to show you these mountains. Look at this, I've got some frosting snow on there. Really cool area. I'm headed up towards Skykomish, sort of in the Cascade Mountains, working with Mount Index Tree Service up there in that chip truck. And yeah, I just want to show you, this is like an incredible area. Look at all that. The river right there. This is kind of far from my house, but Gus up there said that he had a really tall fir for me to do, so I was like, absolutely, I'll be there. I love the, the tall ones. All right, yeah, these are really tall firs out here. So here's the job. We got this big old, it's not super fat, but it's mega tall fir removal driveway. And me and Gus are gonna just trim up these two trees right here. These are like uh, vacation houses, I think. There's the river. Man, the trees are crazy tall out here. They're way up here. So I got a new bar on my battery saw. Oregon reached out to me, a guy in the testing lab and asked if I wanted to come tour the place. I said, cool, uh, I'd love to. I brought my friend Gordy, who owns West Coast Saw with me. We were just talking about chain. I was talking about how I switched to the Panther because I didn't like the Husqvarna chain. The Husqvarna chain, I feel like it cuts and then it stops and you gotta like push it and then it keeps feeding. The Panther chain is uh, you know, a lot lighter, a lot smaller. I think it cuts better than the Husqvarna, but you still can't get a very good edge on it because the teeth are so dainty. Anyways, I was telling like the engineers that and they're like, have you tried our Oregon Speed Cut Nano? Maybe that's what it, I think, I think this is Speed Cut Nano. I don't know, they said they like the PX5000 or something. I hate all the chains. They're all letters and numbers. You can never remember what anything is called. Anyways, this tooth, these are a little more robust teeth. It's something, this is a 325. So it's a 43 gauge, 325 pitch. So it's a step between 3 eighths and quarter pitch. So we're gonna try this thing out today. Um, we'll see how it cuts. It, it looks like pretty nice stuff. I think it's gonna cut pretty good. Usually where you are regionally, a lot of people would be horrified by like uh, pruning with spurs on, but it's sort of a regional thing. This is a, this is basically a rainforest out here really thick bark tree. Th these trees really don't mind if you spike up a uh, kind of a controversial thing a little bit in the industry. You know, I wouldn't prune like a uh, like an oak or a maple, something with thin bark. You know, I wouldn't be spiking up that, but this thing's mega thick bark. I'm not even climbing all the way to the top. I'm just trimming it up. Real thick bark, real good growing conditions. We don't have a lot of, also in Washington state, we really don't have a lot of uh, pests and stuff, but everything just grows really well. Like I said, it's kind of a controversial thing. People are real opinionated about it, but. Anyways, like I said, it's a regional thing. I'm really not worried about hurting this tree with my spurs. Feathers, I guess. Common name for this is piss fur, because of all this. All these bubbles filled with ooey gooey sap. this branches take this off like <laughs> half of its mouth. Last 
last time I worked with these guys, it was that big cotton one I did. Like 170, 170 foot feet tall. And that one had crazy, crazy big balls too. And I was testing that blue Chinese saw. trees up here all right so here we are inspecting the top and there is a little bit of decay in there as you would kind of expect from this getting topped if you cut the top off it's exposed it doesn't matter if you angle the cut or not it's just exposed it's gonna usually decay a little bit these seem pretty vigorous these tops but they do have that spot right there so uh, I don't know it's kind of a judgment call it is right next to the structure but it's got this little this thing's kind of adorable this little spout going right there but you know what it's got nowhere to grow it's just gonna crowd even though it looks kind of cool gotta go there you go let's see how far down it goes yeah there is decay in it but it it doesn't i don't know yeah i guess it's saying at least they grow out like a viking horn so they've it's not like a tight v where it's gonna they're gonna like cry each other apart in the wind it's actually a pretty nice shape so it is a little bit of decay but these unions are actually pretty strong so i, I wouldn't worry about it but I mean, this is crazy. There's like, there is not a tree shorter than 160 anywhere in here. Well, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, these are just skyscrapers. the drone yeah, you're right 185 feet so, yeah, at the top the focus 185 foot tall for the other ones are even taller that one you did is like really pushing 200 all right these are my favorite man these trees crane work is fun for a little while but it does get old. Oh, you never done crane work? Really bad in the rain. You're just sitting there waiting for like 20 minutes sometimes. Yeah, man, I love these forest furs. They're just, <laughs> they're just the best. All right, got to the first live branch. Like. <laughs> 75 feet up. Yeah, I'm trying to do organ shit I've never heard of. It's, uh, a little smaller than 3 8 It's 3 2 5. It's like a step between quarter pitch and 3 8 It's the first time I've used it. Yeah, I was like, I never heard of this. They said it's been out for two years. It's cutting super awesome. Like, See, this is why I could never, I don't know if I could ever live anywhere else, because these trees are just so fun. You know? There's just no trees as fun as these, in my opinion. These forest firs. Look.
You know you're high when the branches start doing two rotations, you know? <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's like popping. I've never taken this bar and chain off this saw. This is awesome. to have the, uh, the Bluetooth communication with especially with the electric saws because they're next to the chipper down there and they can't hear anything so it's really nice to be able to talk they, they if I had a gas saw they'd be able to hear it but yeah you guys look tiny again. Look at that, full rotation. I cut the branch like this and I don't touch it and it just flips around and lands pointing the chipper. That's how so you know you're high up. I'm almost to the top. Yeah, it's crazy how much it moves when you're up here. Like, it really is swaying. They're back in the truck up. I'm just hanging out for a minute. No problem. I can wait because I've got these really nice lineman boots from JK Boots. You know, steel shape, big heel, tall leather. The leather's all the way up here. And they're really comfortable on spurs. The heel is nice because the spur doesn't slide around. It's got a steel shank and I think two leather shanks as well. So it's nice and kind of like you're standing on a platform. It's obviously not like totally like a platform. You're still on spurs, but they're pretty good. You can get $20 off promo code treason. They're, they're actually really nice boots. I don't wear them all the time. 
when I'm walking around on the ground and stuff because I want them to last a long time. They're really built for climbing. If I'm just climbing little trees, I probably, a lot of times I'll wear my hiking boots and stuff, but when I'm climbing a big tree and I'm gonna be in spurs for a few hours, I always wear these boots. And I intentionally only wear them on stuff like this because I want them to last as long as possible. These are the, the best boots I've ever had for climbing in spurs. Hey, check this out, folks. This is my old channel. 263,000 subscribers. This just happened, d just now. 264 on the new channel. At the top of this tree, I just surpassed my first channel in subscribers. A little over a year. That that feels really good. That's pretty cool. I, uh, I was expecting to open my phone and notice that. <laughs> That's wild. The channel's actually gained 40,000 subscribers <laughs> this year. <laughs> yeah, the old one. But I just passed it. Yeah, the old channel, people have subscribed. It's gained 40,000 subscribers and nobody's posted to it. And so, but my new channel, it just surpassed the old one. I've got 264. The other one's got 263. That just happened just now. <laughs> I just needed a 185 footer. branches five seconds for a branch to hit the ground <laughs> Crazy. one two three four five six i got six time moves uh moves faster up here because i'm closer to the <laughs> to the moon you know it's like the satellites time moves do you know that do you know that the time moves different at the sat up in the satellites because they move so fast yeah they're, they're they're going through time more quickly so they have to really calibrate the GPS satellites because time moves faster up there, I think. Or something like that. I don't know, man. I just cut the trees. <laughs> yeah, see the moves are moving a lot. Wow. No defects or nothing, just wiggles. This thing's a tower, dude. Yeah, it's not even that skinny, but I, I'm gonna top it here in a minute. All right, 185 feet, about to top my tallest tree yet. Well, I'm gonna brush it out a little more. It takes five seconds for a limb to hit the ground from up here. Oh, never mind. The ground guy says it's more like 10 on these little ones. Headache! Okay, top coming down. Baby top. Yeah, probably a 10 foot top. So 175 where I'm standing. Just freaking sweet, man. This is so cool. So cool. No rigging, just <laughs> drop all the branches straight down. Bringing down the wood is gonna be actually pretty time consuming. I'm pushing 180 feet up here and I, I'm literally gonna cut this down in 16 inches at a time. And people are gonna say that's really inefficient, that's really dumb, but we do trees like this a lot. It is more efficient. I got two guys down there. If I cut a long piece, they gotta move all this wood out of the way, right? Out of the driveway. If I cut a long piece, they have to spend time cutting it up, moving it. I'm just standing up here doing nothing. If I cut a piece of firewood, throw it down. Cut a piece of firewood, throw it down. I keep moving 
It's easier on the body, easier on the feet. They're just moving rounds. We're taking turns. I throw around down, they move it. I throw around down, they move it. And even though it seems tedious, the job will actually go rather quickly and smoothly because we have to move the wood. Obviously, if we didn't have to move the wood or if we had machinery, bigger the better. Rigging, out of the question. This tree would take, it, it would be a nightmare rigging the, the wood down. Absolute nightmare. I, I just wouldn't do it. <laughs> and uh, it would just, it'd be too, it'd be a nightmare. It would take forever, at least five times as long to reset the block every time and lower logs. So it's gonna be firewood sizes. It's counterintuitive, but trust me, any climber in the Pacific Northwest will tell you, it's the fastest way to get these low taper tall firs down if you gotta move the wood. Even like doubles or triples, I throw those down, but I, I just gotta wait for them to cut everything. I love fir. Firs are the only tree that you can climb this high on and not worry about the strength of it. You know what I mean? The spruce is really strong too, but it's like, I don't know what it is about these firs. I just love them. They're easy to cut, limbs are light. And then, oh, wow, hey, I can feel that. That felt, I didn't like that. <laughs> he, he, he bumped the tree with his mirror and I could feel, I could feel it. I could, so I could feel the engine of his truck vibrating up here because he hit, because he backed into the tree. Dude, that was a trip. I could feel the rumble of the engine all the way up here. Yeah, a lot of times you throw the rounds down when they hit the ground, you also feel the, the roots shake. But I've, I don't know if I've ever felt a diesel motor. <laughs> <laughs> like that that was a trip it's crazy how those vibrations can travel this far though you know this is hur huracan hurricane something like that from arbo space really nice rope I, I i really like it a lot i'd never heard of arbo space they're pretty new they sent me some ropes and i really really like it a lot i wonder how long it's going to take for a piece of firewood to hit the ground okay you're guessing three seconds i'll just say oh okay i'll say four <laughs> okay Eric. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, five. I think I think my seconds were fast. I don't know. All right, I'll do Mississippi's this time. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Solid four seconds. Dude, this chain's incredible. All right, and right, from Oregon is incredible. This three, two, five, I think it is. Look. This is absolutely the best chain I've ever ran on this thing. This is absolutely incredible. Make it easy, easy to cut this with the electric. I would have never suspected that this like bar and chain would rip so good. But dude, it's it's nuts. So I've been in this tree for one hour. These forest trees are so, so awesome. All that work, one hour of work. Yeah, I'll take my 46, it's in my trunk. I should take it now, I'm gonna run out of battery. And I know, it, it's cutting fine, it's just, I'm gonna end up running out of battery halfway through one of these and then we'll have a jiggly piece of wood. Okay, got it. Still MS-462, square ground chain. Got a 32 inch bar on this, ported by Nets.
I just cut through my climbing line. That's why you should never double tie in. <laughs> I just cut through my climbing line. Should have had it on the bottom. Right through it. Man. Yeah, I should be good on fuel for a while. Dude, that sucks. It's all splice too. This this is a brand new rope. I've used it like, this is like my third time using this. I didn't hit the rope runner, right? No, of course I didn't. It must have got stuck on a stub up there. Man, should have had it below the flip line. All right. I kind of like, I pay a lot of attention to the flip line. I kind of, it's just like a backup, you know? So I'm like, but that sucks. Yeah, I'll get, I'll just, uh, I'll have to spike down at some point to get another something to a fire can make it no yeah it's whatever it's just it's the backup you know it's obviously not good to cut your climbing line but yeah dang it okay am i clear <laughs> is it i was super paranoid about you chipping my rope and then i cut it <laughs> it's like i was all making a big deal about it this morning like man it's so ridiculous man, i can't believe i cut that thing man it sucks <laughs> piece before I ran out. And you're right. Now we're next to each other. Ah, thank you. All right. Now we're talking. It's so crazy. Like, uh, you, you can't even feel the saw hit the rope at all. Hey, I never thought I'd say this, but could you grab me that big Makita out of my trunk? Oh yeah. Makita power. Dude, this thing doesn't, it really doesn't feel that heavy. It's got a 36 inch bar on it. Could be my head. I don't know. All right. Put the lifeline below my flip line this time. Try that.
should go. Let me just a little nippy nip. Dude, that thing is solid. Such a pretty tree. Look at that, it's bounce out. Dude. Woo. Man. Yeah, so not a, per not a perfect strip of wood, but you know, it's getting a little greedy here, just trying to get this thing over. Just real stubborn, no top in the tree. Just didn't want to go over, so. See, it was consistent, and then I was like, eh, let's just get some of this out of there. Anyways. Look good. <laughs> So my thoughts on this chain that I can't remember. I didn't touch this chain. It has a safety raker for less kickback. They said at Oregon they didn't measure any difference in speed when they had and didn't have that safety raker on this. You know, sometimes sometimes people give me stuff for free and it's like awkward and uncomfortable because I use it and it's not that great. Like I don't want to bash anybody's stuff, but this is a great day because this chain and bar setup is just, it's so nice. Cuts great. I didn't touch the rakers. I didn't touch the teeth. I haven't done anything. It might get even sharper after I sharpen it. And it just cuts smooth. This is a 16 inch bar. So the chain's a little smaller than the 3 eighths. It's a bit bigger than the quarter pitch. You can really get in there and get a sharper tooth with this little bit bigger chain. I'm a huge fan. I am totally sold. I was blasting through those fur rounds. I'm never taking, a, well, I'd never say never, but probably won't be taking this bar off this saw. I'm all about it. I, you know, I, I didn't know about this chain. I just haven't seen people running this stuff. I've never heard anybody talk about it. And then when I was at Oregon, they were, they showed it to us. And I was like, huh. So I don't remember what it's called. It's got a dumb name. All the chains have dumb names. It's like C3PO or something. It's like letters and numbers. But maybe it's just the Speed Cut Nano. That might be the bar. I don't know. Whatever it is, I'll put the, I'll put the thing on the screen. I, I can never remember like any chain names. I just... I hate it. I hate <laughs> there are so many chains and they all have really dumb names. Anyways, I love this chain. This saw, I uh, you know, I ran it the other day and it was running pretty good. I messed with the it was running okay. It's not running very good. I messed with the carb. It was running pretty good the rest of the day. And then today it was not running that good in the tree and I had a lot of wood to cut. I didn't want to waste much time with it. It was just like just give me the other saw. I love the Mtronic stuff. The carburetors, I don't know. Um I still am intrigued by this saw, but uh you know, this is 80 cc's almost. That's 72, and this was just blasting that side of the water. That, that's all it's built. It's not a fair comparison, but really pleased with the chain today. I was not pleased with the saw today. 
Uh, well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. What a day. I climbed my tallest removal and uh, surpassed that first channel in the same, at the same time. It's pretty cool. That was a really, really fun tree. That was like one of the funnest trees I've ever done in my life. I loved it. Uh, did not love cutting my rope. That sucked. It was, really, it was a really nice rope. I really like that rope. It's, uh, I lost like, I lost the splice. That sucks. So, everything else about today went great. I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed that video. I enjoyed making it for you. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. And I'll see you guys later.